Thank you for joining us in business. Vice President Senator Kashim Shetima has inaugurated a third cohort of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. The Vice President urged the council members to be 100% committed to promoting a conducive business environment in the country and implore them to align themselves effortlessly with the eight-point Renew Hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu's administration. This, according to him, will directly reflect the strong political will behind the transformative initiatives of President Tinubu-led government. Earlier, the special advisor to the President on the Council and Investment, Dr. Jumoko Duoli, said the Council's mandate is to deliver Nigeria's business environment reform. She said the Council's model aligns with global best practices and includes a strong performance tracking element that ensures MDAs are accountable for reform implementation. But away from there now, Nigeria and the African group are calling for an equitable and fair international tax system toward achieving the sustainable development goals. The representative of the Africa group made the call at a news conference on promotion of inclusive and effective international tax cooperation at the United Nations headquarters in New York. Nigeria, during the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly, presented a historic resolution which laid the foundation for the creation of a new system of international task cooperation that should be universal in scope and approach. The Africa Group has taken significant step forward with the proposal of a framework convention on international tax cooperation, a landmark reflect, initiative reflective of our collective commitment to fairness and inclusive, inclusivity in the global tax, tax system. We did issue a resolution uh, just last week and are seeking that its support. This framework convention is not merely a political document. It is a beacon of hope for developing countries that have long sought a voice in shaping the international tax norms. In addressing the critical shortcomings of the current tax system, uh, which often sidelines the unique challenges and perspectives of developing nations. What it means on the ground that we have a fairer tax system. We should therefore be on the table to also do this and to contribute in deepening the process of getting fairer taxation for governments. The use of evolving agricultural technologies can help the country navigate challenges in the sector and enhance food security. Agricultural technology experts made this known against the backdrop of the nation's agricultural sector's limitations, which the authorities are working hard to address. Lara Fulano reports. The Nigerian agriculture sector contends with several setbacks, which the present administration is working to address. The government has also adopted some strategies, which include the release of fertilizers and grains to farmers and households adequate irrigation of farmlands for year-round farming, addressing food prices through commodity boards, security on farms, and funding of the agriculture value chain by the Apex Bank, amongst others. These agriculture technology experts say the efforts by the authorities are commendable, but also seek thus to engage the use of evolving scientific innovations for enhanced production in the agricultural sector. With new challenges and opportunities, we must continue to support and encourage media in their vital role. The decision we make today regarding biotechnology will have profound consequences for the future of agriculture. Declining agricultural productivity and reduced sources, you know, the sources available for agriculture. And a case in point was the establishment of a high-level panel on modern biotechnology set up by the African Union to advise the African heads of state on a common stand on biotech. The thinking here is that the climate change induced challenges which the sector faces highlights a need to find alternative means of driving output and evolving technologies can help bring about this desired change. AATF remains steadfast and committed to that mission to fast-track the deployment of life-changing technologies that increases yield and resists pests and diseases. The yield you will get per hectare when you cultivate GMOs 
and you compare it with the non-GMOs, the organic products, the difference is clear. So, there is increased yield. The media is also advised to be more engaged in educating farmers and policymakers on how improved technologies can aid informed policymaking decisions in reforming the nation's agricultural sector. Lara Polayo, TBC News, Abuja. Let's take a look at the global equities market. The Asian shares took a breather today as a batch of softer U.S. economic data took some of the steam out of Wall Street, but also boosted bonds in a big way while slogging oil prices in a bonus for the inflation outlook. MSCI's Brodex Index of Asia Pacific shares outside Japan eased by 0.4% from a two-month high, but still up 3.1% for the week. Equity investors were not as impressed with the idea of margin compression and knocked Walmart shares down by 8% while a drop in energy stocks dragged on the S&P 500. S&P 500 futures were all flat, including Nasdaq futures. Euro stocks 50 futures gained 0.3% and FTSE futures by 0.2%. While Japan's Nikkei added to 0.2%, Chinese blue chips were a fraction lower, having missed the general rally. And now some of the major uh, banks in the world, including Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, UBS and Barclays, expect global economic growth to slow further in 2024, squeezed by elevated interest rates, higher energy prices and a slowdown in the world's two largest economies. The global economy is forecast to grow 2.9% this year, while next year's growth seen slowing to 2.6%. Most economies expect the global economy to avoid a recession, but have flagged possibilities of mild or mild rather mild recessions in Europe and the UK, and a soft landing for the United States. China's growth is seen weakening, exacerbated by the companies seeking alternative cost-efficient production destinations. 